Hey guys, welcome back to part 10 of the Firestore tutorial. So in the last video we added some simple queries to filter the documents that we retrieve from the Firestore database. In this video we will learn how we can chain multiple queries together to create compound queries. And this way filter our results further. Multiple range operators like this one here, where greater than or equal to, can only be used on the same field in one query. So if we for example would add where less than or where less than or equal to, we could only pass priority here as well. If we would try to pass something else, like title, our app would crash at runtime. But we can combine range operators and normal where equal to operators. So we could write we want to retrieve all documents where priority is greater than or equal to 2 and additionally where equal to title and for the value AA for example to keep it simple. This can be combined. You can also combine multiple where equal to. So you could search for nodes where the title is AA and the description is something else for example or where you have a specific priority. Okay let's delete this limit part here and try our example but I can already tell you that this will not work right away. So we will add an on failure listener here. Dot add on failure listener and as usual we pass a new on failure listener. And in here we will show a log message as before. And instead of the string we pass e, which is the exception, dot to string. To see what went wrong. So let's run this. So I deleted all documents that we already have. Let's add some new. We want to have all documents where the title is AA. Description doesn't matter. And priority here 2 or higher, 3 for example. Let's add one where the name does not fit. And let's add one with AA, but priority of 1, like this. As usual, we get all our results from our snapshot listener. And when we click load, we should only see this one here at the bottom. Because this has a priority here 2 or higher and the title AA. But when we click load, nothing happens. So let's look into Lockhead and see what went wrong. And here at the bottom, we have a Firebase Firestore exception that says the query requires an index, you can create it here, and then we have this link. We click on this link, which brings us to the Firebase console where we see this pop-up dialog here. Composite indexes are required for queries that include specific values and a range or order. And we can see title and priority with these errors here. This is because when we run these queries, Firestore doesn't actually look into each document one by one and determines if it fits to our query, because this would be very bad performance-wise and wouldn't scale for thousands or millions of documents. Instead, we need an index that defines this order. And since we have defined priority in descending order, this arrow here points to the bottom. When we later change priority into ascending order, we will have to create a new index, but we can create multiple ones. We can also create these indexes manually, but when we click this link in the error message, we already get a suggestion with the one we need for this particular query. So all we have to do is click on create index, and then as you can see here, we have to wait a bit, depending on the size of your collection. But of course I'm gonna skip the waiting process in this video, so now it's finished, let's run it again and see if it works. Here are our three documents, and when we click load, we only see the one that fits to our query. Perfect. Now single fields are indexed by default. This is why it worked right away in the last video where we only used one query. So you only have to create these custom indexes if you want to combine queries for different fields. But if you only use where equal to operators, it works without this custom index. So you could write where equal to title, where equal to description, this would work right away. You only need a custom index if you combine range operators with where equal to operators or if you combine multiple order bytes. So if we would write where greater than or equal to and delete this part here. Now the first order by, if you remember, has to be on the same field as our range operator. So we could not order it by title here, but we could order it by the title in a second order by. So we could say, okay, first we want to order it by the priority here and then by the title. Let's also change the priority here to ascending as well, like this, and run it again. When we click load, Again, nothing happens, but when we take a look into log message, we see a new link down here, and when we click it, we get a new suggestion. Create index, and it creates a second one. But now the fields have a different order and the arrows point into different directions. Now both our queries will work. If you want to delete one of those indexes, you can click here on these three dots, 
and on delete. Pretty straightforward. And on add index you can create these indexes manually. By setting the collection name and by adding fields and choosing ascending or descending. Now when we combine multiple queries, like this, it's always an AND operator. Firestore does not have an OR operator. So we could not say we want to have all documents where priority is 2 or 5 for example. We can also not exclude certain values. We could not say we want to have all documents where priority is not 2, but 1, 3, 4, 5 and so on. In both these cases we have to create separate queries and merge them locally. And that's what we are going to do in the next video, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss that. And if this video was helpful, please leave a like. Take care.